the why is truly crazy. We've already looked at the why when it sounds like the long I. We looked at the why when, we, when it sounds like the short I. Now let's look at the why when it sounds like the long E. Let me share my screen with you. Okay. Here we are. The screen is a little bit busy. Get rid of this. Oh, got, got rid of the wrong thing. Let me see that again. There we go. So I'm going to move this up here. This doesn't move. No, it doesn't. Okay, so let's look at the why. When it means the long, when it has the long Y sound. So with the long E sound, excuse me. So here we go. Cherry E. I would like to say it's at the end of the word, but not always. Many times it's at the end of the word. You'll, you'll notice that. Very, a very important word, by the way, in English is basic English. One of the words that all children have to learn by the time they get into either the first or second grade. Any basic word, very important. It's one of the sight words. Variety. This is a Latin based word, but body of that. It's a, it's a, a, a Latin based word. Airy. Harry, no, Harry, Harry. But Harry is H A R R Y and it's uppercase H. This is Harry, hair, and E, Harry. But sometimes it's very, the minimum pair is very close to Harry. Antsy, when you're antsy, you're like this. You can't keep still. You're just like, moving around. I said, why are you so ants, antsy? It comes from ants because it said that when ants are in your pants, you, you know, you're moving around trying to get the ant out. So when you're antsy, you're like this. You're super nervous. Freak, uh, barely, almost not. He barely, uh, reaches my arm, he's so short. He's so short, he barely reaches my arm. He reaches my arm, but that's it. So I can say he barely reaches my arm, nothing left over. Lees, I don't think you pronounce the S, Lee. Carry, to carry someone or to carry something. Every body. These are very uh, carry and but most important, <clears throat> but most especially everybody. Very important words. Daily. You do it every day. Daily. Barry. That's the American name for Barack Obama. His name is Barry Obama. Hollywood. I'm from California. And I remember when I first went to California, I'm not originally from there, but I lived there for, for a very long time. So when people want to know where I'm from, I said, well, originally I'm from the Northeast, but I went to California and I lived there for a long time. And I remember when I first saw the Hollywood sign, I was so disappointed. It didn't look like anything on television. And Hollywood itself doesn't look like anything you would imagine. Calamity. Oh, excuse me. There's a woman in the Wild West. And I shouldn't call it the Wild West. It was wild as far as the people of European descent were concerned. 
for the for the um, indigenous people in Canada, they say First Nation people, or for the people originally there, it was the killing West, because in certain in, in certain uh, places, it wasn't even against the law to kill an indigenous person, a person um, whose ancestry could could who could trace their ancestry back thousands of years. It wasn't against the law to kill them. Um, I remember when I was growing up, you would hear on television in the Westerns, they would say the only good Indian was a dead Indian. And you would hear that. And there was no protest, no one saying, oh my God, you shouldn't say that. But there was a woman, her name was Calamity Jane. And for many years, I thought that was her name, Calamity Jane. But the name is a nickname describing what kind of person she was. Factory. Calvary. Ovary. Chemistry. If you notice, everything is E, E, E. You hear no long I, you hear no short I. And so far, everything is at the end or near the end of the word. History. In certain corners now, they say his story. Then they say her story. But the correct pronunciation is not his story. It's history. And it's from Latin. Kyoto. Now here, remember I said that at the end, now here is right at the beginning. Well, near the beginning. Kyoto e. Jati. Hilarity. Husky. Neology. Honesty. Once again, this 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 is Latin based words. Libby name. Liability, Latin based. You can tell by the ending. The itty. Leon. French. Mummy. That's what the British say. Where's my mummy? Americans don't say. Mummy. It's like a mummy. So I so and in British English it's mummy. I know my pronunciation is horrible, but in American English it's mummy. And that's what that's what the Egyptians did when someone dies. They wrapped the body, and that wrapped body was called a mummy. But the Brits say mummy for their mother. Necessity. Americans say mommy, M-O-M-M-Y. Orthodoxy. 90, 90. That's a, a suffix. Tommy, like anatomy. Party. Pretty. Pretty has several uh, meanings. One is not to be, means not to be ugly, but pretty can also mean the opposite of, it, of itself. That's a contronym. Like you can say, well, he's doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. That means he's doing okay. It's not fantastic, nothing to brag about, but he's doing pretty well. Versus if you said, that was a pretty good run. That was a pretty good run. There, pretty means a very good, extraordinarily good, excellent. Raspy. Let's talk like that. Don't let me have the raspy voice. R-Y uh, suffix, re. Skivvy. Dumpy. So we're talking about the Y 
freaky pronunciation. How do you pronounce the crazy Y? It all depends. Some hints can be when it's at the end of no, because it's at the end of the word before a lot of times for the long I. You have to know the word. That's why, once again, I've said it a thousand times, so this is a thousand and one. Uh, English is a language you have to hear. You have to hear it pronounced. You can see sometimes I've had problems with words that I use it as examples because in the dictionary, if you get a very, very good dictionary, especially the Oxford Dictionary, it will tell you the American pronunciation and the British pronunciation or Webster in which you're only looking at the British pronun of the American pronunciation. So I can tell by the phonetic letter whether it's a long I, long E, long A, short A, short E, short I. But some of these words I've never heard before. And a lot of times they're not very, well, if I've never heard it before, then they're not common words, but they're words that exemplify what I am trying to teach. So Corolla Ficklin McLean at welcome.com. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get as many people as possible so I can do this as a full-time job rather than doing this, doing vacation, because I have, hundreds and hundreds of cards, but they take time. First of all, they take time to think about, about creating. Then they take time in creating, and then they take time in um, uploading them. And then it, it takes time and just the, what really costs not cost, but what's really time consuming is thinking of uh, looking at English a different way and saying, how would a language teacher, ESL, because I'm thinking mostly about language teachers, try to teach a subject which initial, which on its face seems boring, but maybe once you get into it, it's not as boring if lucky, lucky, it's not boring at all. So CorallaFicklin.com, CorallaFicklin McLean, not .com, at uh, my uh, welcome.com. Thank you for, subs uh, for um, listening to my video. I hope you sub subscribe. Let me stop sharing the video. And I want to say thank you. Goodbye. Have a good day. Bye.